Good morning YouTube, Tula here and it's the day after the elections. I don't like going into politics here. I can't say I'm very happy with the results but something else happened this morning that made me really happy. Ta-da! My art supplies are here. I've been waiting patiently. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Jackson's in England and what's nice about buying there is that um, the shipping is uh, free if you buy above a certain amount which I have as you can see This is too small. Get another another knife. want you to see something. While it came a little broken, this was open, but look at this. They have, um, how can I show you? They have tough plastic corners to keep the box. So, because I have large uh, sheets of paper in there, Let's see if they got damaged or not. Ooh, can't open it. Hello! <laughs> Hello, new friends! getting very impatient, I'm sorry. I'll try to restrain myself. Okay, let's get the things out of here. Ink. Mmm, okay. Brushes. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Watercolors, this is empty. More watercolors that should have been kept in this box, it was open. Another ink. Are we in the frame? No, you can't see anything. These are the goods so far. Just get them all out. Ah. <laughs> this is a palette with the lid. Oh, more brushes. Oh my god, these are my daggers. Okay, I have to get this down. So I can get the papers out. Just a minute. Oh, it's heavy. Ugh, cotton paper. Let's see what we have here. Cut myself. Okay, the papers are protected very well. 
I hope the large sheets are as well. But the blocks, you can see, this is all glued up together. Oh, really heavy. Okay, animal paper, ta ta! Bamboo, Cezanne, this should be cold pressed. This is the special uh, edition, the anniversary edition. <laughs> 400, 425 GSM. Well, we'll check them all out really soon. Uh, and one more. Oh, I know what this is. The nostalgia, which I already... I had a block of the nostalgia and I really liked it, so I ordered another one. And and this is what. The Britannia paper, this is um, cellulose, it's not cotton, it's 300 GSM and I, it looks like it's cold pressed. Grand Fin, I think that's the cold pressed. 10 sheets of uh, 50 by 65 centimeters. There's dirt here, but I, it's on the um, on the nylon on the packaging. The paper looks fairly nice and clean. The packaging is intact. The corners are okay. Good. <laughs> wow, my God, it's really heavy. Okay. Open. Did I move you? Sorry. <laughs> it's huge. We'll open this person. And I'll just... Oh my god! The protection fell off two of the brushes. Ah, I hope they're fine. Mm. I know it's all blurry and noisy. Better than a birthday party. Way better. And I've been waiting anxiously according to the Israeli Post website, the tracking. The, the last update I had was the package was um, received from Sweden. <laughs> that was my last update. And it didn't go through customs or so it went and came out. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White and and ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta. very well protected but Right, there was a little nib on sale, so I got it. It's a calligraphy nib, it's flat. And Kuretake black ink. 
Okay, so let me stop the video, reposition the camera, sit down, and let's have a look at what I have here. <laughs> Exciting, I'll get some water in the jars so we can try out all the brushes. This was the reason for the shipment for my, um, my purchases. These are the ones I wanted to try. Oh my god. Okay, see you soon. Okay, here we are. I changed your position. Let's see, can I see you? Yeah, okay. And I haven't opened anything. It's been like five minutes. I brought some water, water jar for the um, brushes. And just rearranged everything so you can see better. And I also I cut my address and details from here and this is the list of materials. The total is um, nearly $300. It's a lot of money but it's a lot of very good stuff <laughs> in, my, in my opinion. <laughs> I chose everything here and the shipping cost me nothing which is really nice and no customs. I thought I will pay a fine for getting these from overseas. Okay, let's see what we have here. I'll start with what's closest to me. I have some watercolors. I like working with tubes and not um, pans. So I'm getting all the colors that I like to use in tubes and I've learned my lesson. Look, wait. Okay. Visual aids. <laughs> These are my watercolors. And I love the Sennelier colors, but when I was in France a few years ago, I got some colors. You have to see this from closer. Sorry about all the the noise, there's so much, so many beautiful things here. Okay, can you see here? Okay, so what happens is that um, they make the colors with uh, honey and I guess the honey is very sticky because all my tubes have the residue of the color outside and two of them don't close well just it's nearly out and two of them the cap broke because the color was so um, sticky they they work well but I had to cover them with nylon it's not very aesthetic and it's not inviting to use them so I don't buy large tubes anymore. You see, part of the cap, there's a black ring of plastic here and just a flat cylinder over here. So it, the plastic broke. It's very disappointing, but so I have small ones. I've got a uh, burnt amber, French ultramarine, which I have and I love. It's beautiful, beautiful color. Paints gray. And this is Rose Meadow Lake. I really wanted the carmine. I'm nearly out, but I have a little one from, um, from Schminke. This is my carmine. And this is the um, new one I have. So I have a rose. And I'm nearly out of ochre. I did have um, a little Winsor Newton ochre, which is really nice. And I bought this one. I was in Germany and I got it. It's um, um, yellow oak, transparent ochre. And the problem with this is that it's very lumpy. 
it's not fun to use because it doesn't dissolve nicely and it's also a little more greenish than the um, Windsor Newton Ochre so I got, because I don't want to buy a large tube, I got two smaller ones so these are the new watercolors join your friends here now we have the PH Martin Bleed Proof White which I've read recommendations about ages ago it feels very thick and it weighs a lot <laughs> maybe because of the jar I'm curious to try this this in comparison is really light this is the Kuretake Zig black ink it should be waterproof smudge proof with alcohol based markers it says it's water based very quick drying sumi ink for manga drawing oh do not mix with any other ink I like to mix inks let's um cut this can never have enough ink there's one that I really like it's the platinum carbon black <coughs> sorry <coughs> black ink but I didn't see any in Jackson's I know this type of um, I like that the opening is very large but if there's no some kind of uh, holder inside it's really difficult when the ink gets low to dip because you have just a very shallow wide area of ink I may have to put it in a little jar at some point okay let's go on so much to do okay so as I told you I like um working with uh, tubes of paint and not not um, pans Ooh, cat hair. Cat hair. so what I do is I put them here now this is very convenient but it's angled so I get the color to to um, run toward this middle line and I wanted a larger mixing area so I got this palette here so out hello this is a Mielo it's a um, 24 color palette here is the opening Republic of Korea. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Oh, how do you open this lid? Okay, two, three, four. Pum. Okay, is this flat? I, I hope it's flat. It looks like it's flat. Yeah, I think it's the 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And I'm counting on using this side for mixing colors as well. This also looks flat, the middle area. Really nice. Happy. I don't think I'll make this um, permanent color palette, but just, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Okay. Let's open some of the papers so I can try the brushes on them later. 
Well done. Okay. Put aside everything. Okay, so this is the Honey Mole Nostalgie that I already know and like. What I was really wanting was some Malana paper, but there wasn't any on Jackson's and I think it's not an easy paper to get, but if you have an opportunity, I... I suggest trying it. I have a block of the, um, the Lana cold press. Let's see if I can find it. This is my little uh, Lana Quarel paper. It's a um, block. I have just a few sheets left. And it's lovely. It's really nice. Really recommended. I'm going to get some eventually. And I think, I think Hannah Muller purchased or they're working with Lana because I saw the Lana paper on the Hannah Muller website. Okay, this is a warm white, not a bright white. 190 grams, really smooth. It's beautiful for the dip pen, for ink, and for pencils as well. And I have a, I have a video where I try different um, inks and colored pencils on this paper I think two videos two parts okay so this is huge this is um, a3 so um, 30 almost 30 centimeters by 42 11.7 inches on 16 and a half great and I've got 50 sheets here this is really really thick. Okay, next. Next we have the anniversary edition. Very thick watercolor paper. Acid free. Okay, this, it doesn't say that it's cotton so it must be cellulose and this was really cheap it was a bargain there's a red it must be the glue okay so this is a um, uh, a pad, a pad, a block, the one that's glued on all sides. Mm -hmm. Hello, all my new friends. Oh, it's very textured. It's it feels furry, really different from the from the nostalgie. It's glued. Okay, this is the open corner, and I have fifteen sheets of thirty by forty centimeters here. Hmm. Next. Oh, sorry. Okay, so this is the Cezanne uh, mold-made cotton paper. 
I'll go over all of them uh, separately. I want to make a little video for each one. I hope I will live up to my word if I give you my word. Intentions and actions are not always the same. Matte, cold pressed, 100% cotton rag, 30 by 40 again. I prefer buying larger blocks and cutting the paper if I want to do something smaller. Hmm. This also feels furry, like the... No, very different. I can feel the that this is cotton and this... Compared to, compared to the Cezanne, this is um, cellulose, it's got a different feel to it, more plasticky, while this is, um, how can I describe it, I can feel like a lot of tiny edges, okay, one corner here is a little um, bumped, and a broken nail. Okay, another open corner. Hello, nice. And bamboo. Ninety percent bamboo, ten percent cotton rag. Sorry. Again, thirty by forty, two hundred sixty-five gsm. So fairly thick. 25 sheets I have the bamboo printing paper and I was hoping that things that I paint on the bamboo paper I can print on the bamboo printing paper to get Similar results. Okay. More nylon. Exactly what the world needs. Okay, this corner is bumped again. Also, a block. Don't really use the, the, the glued pads. Ah, okay, this is glued on the top and bottom, and the sides are open. And this feels more like the cellulose paper. It's a warm kind of white. I'll try it. And the last paper we have here is the Britannia. Wow, let's move these heavy, heavy guys to the side. Okay, oh my god. Now I'm wondering whether I should open it or not. I'll try to leave the nylon intact so I can wrap them again. Left-handed. It's going on here. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Ah, well done, Jacksons. Look, there's the wrapping nylon, which is thin, but inside I have a bag like thick nylon I'm sure you can see the difference and hear it okay it's not a not a ziplock <laughs> can't expect too much how shall I open it 
Okay, and the dirt that I saw is on this thick nylon and not on the paper. Very well done. I know that uh, loose, loose sheets of paper can get dusty, they can get dirty, they can get um, oil on them from people feeling them, the edges get frayed. This exceeds my expectations. Well done, really well done. I'll open on this side so I can glue it later to close. cellulose paper, cold pressed, this is the back, do it like this so you can see all the details, forgive me if we are out of focus, this is manual focus, so the cellulose cold pressed paper, feels nice. It's not um, white white. It's a little warmish. Looks nice. I'll try it. I love the um, cellulose papers when I want to have a few um, shades on the brush and have them show up in the stroke. And then on the cellulose paper you get to see the difference the difference between the shades and on the um, on the cotton paper they uh, melt into one another much more so this is um, an advantage of the cellulose paper in and to the side as much as I can and what have we got one two little needle go over the inks okay the brushes now look two of them the um, um, protective caps separated and I can see little hairs coming out here and also here I really really hope that once I wet them they will get the shape back if not it will be really really sad okay let's open them let's start with the daggers now i have to say all these brushes are synthetic i'm not buying uh, animal hair are mine they are so pretty I can't believe these are my brushes <gasps> Oof. okay so what we have here are two da Vinci Casaneos these are daggers sword brushes they are angled synthetic and I think it's supposed to be squirrel imitation Let's show you your cousin. I have a cousin. This is the cousin. Wet. Not wet, wet. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the shape. I just licked it. So this is also uh, the same um, line. A 14 and a 10, I said that already. Let's 
them a little bit out so you can maybe see the details on the brush and these are two Neptunes Prince to Neptune oh they're exactly the same that's right <laughs> somehow I got uh, two in the order <laughs> I don't think I meant it, I didn't mean it. Oh, when I have, I see one here running down here. It's over here. Mm. Ah, I hate this. Okay. Oh, it's really soft. Really soft. I think these are supposed to be imitation sable. And look, the hair. They've got a lot of. Um, soap on from the factory. I know how these are supposed to feel. I'll leave this one intact. Okay, and here I have a few rounds. Another little tiny dagger and a quill. The smallest quill I can find a zero and I'm really worried about the Casaneros that are capless unprotected all the way from England okay look at this one do you see it? I'll zoom in you see this more it's a Number two, Da Vinci Casaneo, and this is how it came. These um, protective caps were loose, and one, two brushes were without a cap. They look terrible. Bad hair day. <laughs> this is so sad, and they're the same one. Number two. And this is a Cosmotop spin. The cap fell off, but this one has a lot of glue on. So it's alright. Oh my god, little ones. I just licked it and it looks okay. I wanted this to make really fine. I wanted them for the tips and in this one something is definitely wrong. Look, the same brush, exactly the same. That number two because I know Da Vinci, I bet the code is the same as well. But look at the tip of this one. Something is awkward. You can, can you see it? See this little curl? What a shame. No, it's like that. I can't fix it. Just wavy. This one, after I wet it, looks alright. This is really sad. Jacksons, make sure you package them well. Okay, so I have a Princeton number one round here. Heritage, it says. Mm. Nice, really nice tip. These are all number twos. This is a number one. Oh, this is so miserable. Look at her. You see that? All twisted. I will love you. I promise. And number four. They didn't have all the sizes I wanted. I think I already have. No, I have a number five. It's the same. No, it's not the same. Yay! <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the Cosmotop. I don't know why I got another one. 
number four. This is the Princeton. Okay, another dagger. This is a miniature mini detailer, um, one eighth of an inch dagger. Hello, <laughs> you can see that I was really counting on enjoying the daggers since I got so many of them. These are the same, this I had, this I had, this is a little dagger as well, and a beautiful little quill, another Da Vinci Casaneo number zero, and this one has a little string tying it together. Hmm. Where is my uh, knife? Oh, I'm sorry, an airplane. Okay. Hello. Oh, you're sweet. Wait, I have water here. Why do I leak everything? nice and soft like I know from the Casaneo and I'm hoping this beautiful tip will give me lovely um, brush strokes with a very fine tip okay so we unboxed we looked at everything um, just generally now it's time to start trying stuff. This is where the real excitement ex um, begins. Okay, let me have a bit more coffee, wake up properly, and I think I will go on. I, I have to go on, I promised. And my intention, not sure I will keep it, <laughs> I can't keep it, but I'll try to show each product in a short little video by itself well we'll see how it goes okay see you bye bye